What's up YouTube? It's Evilboy and uh, today I would like to show you another fixed blade knife uh, which I try to use as an EDC knife. Uh, it's the uh, Boca. Watch out, here comes my my attempt in uh, Spanish pronunciation. It's a Boca Arbolito El Heroe. I don't know uh, if I pronounced that right. Um, this is a knife uh, made in uh, Argentina, and uh, but it's made from uh, European steel, N695, which is an uh, Austrian steel, I believe. Um, comes with this uh, leather sheath, which uh, uh, only allows uh, horizontal carry. So that's something new for me. But it's a beautiful and uh, massive uh, sheath, uh, really sturdy, and uh, two push buttons are really, really hard to open and close. So nice sheath, uh, unusual way of carrying. Uh, that's a knife. Uh, it's uh, a design from the. Uh, Hungarian knife maker uh, Peter Farkas. Um, it has a four millimeter thick blade. Overall, it's 17 centimeters long, and the blade itself is 7.5 centimeters long. Uh, the weight comes in at uh, 133 grams, uh, which is uh, which is uh, quite heavy for an uh, EDC knife. But uh, for fixed blade with full full tank construction, uh, uh, it's probably a decent weight. Uh, the uh, wooden handle scales are made from uh, some wood called gua guayacan. That's supposed to be from the ebony wood family. Uh, it's pretty tough and uh, gives a nice, very nice and smooth. Uh, smooth feel. Uh, you have uh, lots of jimping around uh, the handle, back here, back here, down there and of course up here on the spine. Uh, that little hump here uh, gives really good control when uh, choking up and uh, yeah, I really like that knife. Uh, only downside for me so far is uh, the weight and uh, the unusual way of carrying it, so I think I have to get used to that. But uh, overall, it's a beautiful knife, and uh, uh, yeah, it's. I, I don't think it's uh, too threatening for non-knife people. So uh, it's more like a probably gentleman fixed blade. Don't know if you can call it like that. Mm. Yeah, that's it. Uh, try it out. It's uh, about uh, 80 euros in uh, Germany. So it's, uh, well, not the cheapest of uh, knives, but I think the, uh, the good looks. Look at these uh, pins, they're really beautiful. And everything is uh, flush and smooth. And uh, I think it's uh, well worth the money. So thanks guys for watching and uh, I'll see you around.